What's going on everyone? I'm coming to you with a quick after hours news break. As many of you may be unaware, last night as we were sleeping, a federal district judge in Florida struck down the CDC's mask mandate for public transportation, including trains and airplanes. This obviously had an immediate impact on travelers, especially in the airline industry. Reports are already coming out that one airline changed its mask policy mid-flight, allowing passengers to take off their masks. Although transportation companies are permitted to still require masks on their own accord, most of the US's major airline companies have now issued policies stating that masks are optional on their flights. This change does have an immediate impact on employers, especially in the ADA realm. First, if an employer requires the use of public transportation for work you know, to go to and from a client, such as on an airplane, an employee may request an accommodation on the basis that they have an underlying health condition that would be exacerbated by COVID. And therefore, they do not want to use public transportation where other people are unmasked. Employers would need to conduct an interactive process under the Americans with Disabilities Act to determine whether a disability does in fact exist and what accommodations, if any, the employer could give to allow the employee to avoid the public transportation. Second, employers need to consider workers' compensation before they have employees utilize public transportation. Technically, an employee may have a workers' compensation filing if they were to contract COVID and get sick while using public transportation for work, just as they may have if they were to catch COVID at work. Fortunately, we are not aware of a massive amount of filings associated with workers' compensation for contracting COVID. However, we do know that the risk of such filings increases if an employer is not enacting adequate safeguards to lower the risk of contracting COVID. This means that employers should consider requiring employees to wear masks, including N95s, when utilizing public transportation as a work requirement, such as flying to a client. Although the employer could ultimately choose whether to strongly enforce such mandate, having the rule in place to begin with will convey to the employee that they should still continue to protect themselves from COVID when traveling for work. Before we go, let us know in the comments below if your travel habits for work will change with the elimination of the mask mandates for transportation. I hope you all have a great evening.